and what is going on YouTube just another gaming channel bring you just another video so I'm currently recording another armor video as I'm currently exporting direct to YouTube last time I tried this I said my computer was too slow although I'm running 8 gig of RAM I know it's the height it's there's no upgrade possibility I bought an extra 32 gig when I bought the new iMac but apparently you know, there's no slot for you to install it in so yeah you buy their RAM or not so 8 gig which you would think was you know be good enough and on top of that it's got a uh, something like a one point so 1.6 or 1.7 gigahertz graphics card it's got um, a quad core running at 3.3 or 3.4 standard and then with turbo boost it really kicks in 4k screen you know da -da -da, quad core da -da -da, da -da -da. pretty powerful except it's too slow it's because the Apple product Apple products are too slow iMovie and fucking garage band are too slow but anyway guys new arm set not a set I'm particularly a fan of Gonna delete it once I've uh, or delete it or infuse it, depending on what I can use it for. Once I've shown it yet, so this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lost Pacific stuff. Now it kind of has some nostalgia for me. Um, doesn't this look like it's the stuff you should get from Titan? I thought I keep thinking this is the Titan armor, and it actually is because it's X's it's X's Dawn armor that you X's Down armor that you get. Uh, from Nessus. So this is from Titan. It's just got the rocket patch there. Look, which what this reminds me of one of the. It's kind of like one of the pilot outfit armor sets for when they were trying to escape the darkness in all the colony ships. That or living on Titan, they've adapted the ar armor for deep sea diving. I won't say deep sea diving because the pressure will probably crush you on moons and that close to Jupiter yeah so anyway this is what we're playing with and it's kinda okay it's been growing on me I'll be honest this has been growing on me um, but it's fully not upgraded it's a mobility set again which is an issue but let's get up oh, let's get right into it ladies and gentlemen let's get right into the armor <laughs> that's it don't you yeah you hate him you love him you love him you hate him you hate him you hate him, you hate him whatever Whatever is a, is a character, no matter what. So, so this is what we're working with. It's like this is this is like super. This is like a 1970s armor set. Should, they should have released it as a themed DLC PS4 exclusive 1970s armor set, and this is the one. So it looks sci-fi 1970s, uh, but now it just looks really wrong. But basically, this will essentially in the context of the story and history and lore you could say that this this armor piece is actually seven eight hundred maybe thousand years old because that's roughly the time we're living after what what humans call the collapse when the darkness came it's about 900 to a thousand years later right now so yeah they've been chunking along a while afterwards so uh yeah this is a very ancient piece of tech um so the lost specific mask let's have a look it is let's look at the flavor text to start with i need more data and put the lab on yellow alert dr shinish shinish pell ah okay here we are now is this stuff with now is this pell is she the stuff with clovis bray or is this about hmm interesting is this is this about um siva or is this about transforming Cade? Or is this about just launching shit? I don't know. But anyway, it's uh, improved mobility, unfortunately. Now, I didn't like the mask at first, and I still kind of don't, but I don't know, it's got a quality to it, hasn't it? It's got, it feels safe. Like, full visored, breathing apparatus. Um, although we're not looking at it yet. You see down the front of the chest with all the mechanical device, digital mechanical devices on, it's quite interesting. So, the cloak, I mean, the color, you know, turquoise teal type colour. I don't know. Um, it's interesting enough. I mean, it's pretty simple. There's not that much to go into. Um, you can see uh, the, the cloak uh, attaches pretty ordinarily. Um, thick material, keep you warm on those windy Titan shores. Um, I think overall it's pretty straightforward. There's not that much to go into, to be honest. So let's move through this very quickly so I can delete it 
Now they've gone into some nice detail in here with the crisscross stitch all the way along the uh, arm there, and uh, and then you've got yeah you've got the uh, sort of their version and the NASA emblem, whatever ship this was. Um, so let's look at the flavor text. Send a deep space probe toward the anomaly. I want to know what it is. So could this be the first time? Are these are these talking about the guys that the first time that met the traveller, or are they talking about the first time they met the darkness? And it's like send a probe. What is it? I don't know. Was this something to do with the uh, the traveller? Is this part of the crew that that first discovered the traveller? Do you think? See, my my law's really good, and my knowledge of destiny, its history, context, and law, and all and relationships is really good. But I have a type of memory that's mostly. Uh, the best way to put it is not a lot of storage, um, but it's a super. It's a quantum computer. My mind can understand things and see relationships and links and process highly, comp uh, highly uh, complex um, information in 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 ways that other people can't. But then I, I, I forget things very quickly. So, for example, if you told me. Uh, you know, with the half a dozen degrees that I've got in design, if you told me to tell you my favourite designer, no, I couldn't name you a favourite one. I couldn't name you a designer. Uh, I studied typefaces in great detail. I couldn't really tell you anything about typography. It's just the way my mind works. It's a curse, it really is. I get this ability to understand some of the most complex theories about the universe, about anything really. And, and I can understand these things and I can help people understand them and I can I can add to the knowledge in the world. Except if I don't keep working on it, forget it. Like, I can't tell you if the sun rises in the east or the west. I, it doesn't matter how many times. I, I can't remember that piece of information. I, I research it every day. Uh, well, not every day. I research it every, you know, once a week, I don't know, just to check. I see it in films. I can't, I can't keep that piece of information in my mind for some reason. But anyway, let's move on. So, this might be about the group that launched to meet the traveller, or this might be the group that maybe tried to launch to ex to launch a probe into the darkness. Who knows? But the arm's pretty simple. But I like the cross stitch in there. Again, it's all about it's all about mobility. Um, so let's get into the vest. Okay, so resilience and health recovery. Okay. Um, Provision of data makes no sense, and then the signal died. What have we found, it's Dr. Shanice Pell? Um, so I love this kind of old fashioned. Is that a water bottle or is that an oxygen can? Probably an oxygen canister, isn't it? Mixing water. It's like futuristic but old tech as well. It's kind of fold tech. It's, it's old tech? No. Futuristic tech? No. Olderistic? Future fold, future fold. I don't know. Can't do it. Can't do it, guys. Anyway, the design of the chest piece is pretty cool uh, for nostalgic reasons, but it it looks like it is supposed to be dated from the way it's been designed. Simpler materials, clasps, butt belts, buckles, um, ancient computer artifacts. Uh, it looks like you know the cloak's well padded, but but it does look like it's um, from an older era. From one old an hour, mate. So the boots again. I, I do love all this detail to stitching all the way down there. I do like that and the clasps and the belting system. Uh, I love the fact that there's just one knee pad again. I, I love these little details that most people probably ever miss. And uh, the flavor text suggests that this research has to get out, even if I don't. People have to know what this what this anomaly is. Last recording, Doctor Shinalpi. Now. Is it, is it Siva? Is it opening portals to the Vex? Is it something to do with the dark? I don't know. So it's something they did on Titan, I'm guessing. It's gotta be. Uh, Leviathans, maybe harm car. I just don't know. Okay, let's have a look at Lost Pacific Cave. Sloan had these Golden Age spacesuits repurposed for Guardian armor. Yes, I told you they were spacesuits. So yeah, these are ancient spacesuits. Um, repurposes Guardian armor, so it almost makes me want to keep it just for the nostalgic thing. I suppose I could put it in the vault and forget about it. No one would mind, would they? What do you think? Let's try some colors real quick first. 
guys, leave comments. Do you, do any of you guys like this armor? I mean, I'm not. I'm just not a fan. It's full mobility, so you know you're weakened right off the gate. Okay, with midnight talus on, that could look. That looks pretty cool. So you can turn anything cool, can't you, with the right color? Let's have a look at Iron Wolf. Turn some, get some silver in that bad boy. That's what she said. Boom. Okay, it's mainly brown. We no silver whatsoever. Okay, yeah, that that kind of cool. That works. Monochromatic. Probably not going to work on this one. Mm, it does. It does work. Okay, yeah, I can almost see it working. I think I'm going to keep this shit just for fu just for shits and giggles, shitsicles. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at Golden Trace. Um. Okay, dark colors. All right, let's have a look at some randoms real quick. All right, we're gonna go with. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're gonna go with powder blue. Powder blue looks all right. Nothing powdery blue about it, but looks good. What about Bumblebee? Where's Bumblebee? Right, you know what? Let's have a look at Cirrus Modular Shine. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's have a look at Cirrus Modular. Ooh, it's gonna be creamy, creamy, horrible yellow. Okay, not good. All right. Well, what about? Come on, guys. What about? What about the the vice poison shimmer? No, no, nothing. Okay. 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 What about? Let's get some of the hake camo. So that shit looks good. That this armor, look, this the hake camo armor looks fucking good on. Lots of stuff on the more meaty stuff makes it look really good. So look at the color selected. Boom. No, absolutely nothing. All right, I'm going to keep it just out of respect until I no longer have the room. Uh, but guys, if any of you guys like this shit, let me know, please. Because, you know, I'm baffled. Just, uh, I'd love to hear your reasons why you might be able to like this as a piece, other than the, the implications of law. But anyway, guys, those that are watching, thank you so much for watching. It's another armor piece out of the way. I've got uh, one on the Titan to do, and I'm still hunting singular pieces for many other sets. So... Thanks again for watching, guys. Um, I don't usually ask for subscribers. Please feel free to subscribe, uh, share, tell a buddy about it. Um, there's all the Armour 2, uh, there's all the Destiny 2 armor sets that I've got so far are videoed and catalogued, and I've got lots from Destiny 1. If you scroll down my page, there's a couple of Destiny 2 betas in there, but you bring up the entire playlist. There's may, There may be, a, I don't know, 50 to 100 armor sets in there. I'm not sure exactly. But anyway, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, for those that did. Um, I'll be getting on with more of the uh, Witcher 3. I'll be playing some Crucible. I'll be doing lots of different things into weaving Destiny with other games while we're in a bit of a slump. So thank you, guys. As always, you guys are the best. Thank you for subbing. I'll see you on the next one. So cheers.